one in one fifty eight for a an outbreak. Holy shit, those odds are so high. I'm Junior, little weirdo. What are you doing over here? I don't know why I made that jump, but I did. Alright, we've got Apricorns. Once again, the big one's going to be getting the uh, feel. Oh yeah, the path to the campsite. How's the game? It's fine, Shan. Outbreaks have slightly higher rates. According to that stat, Devin Rosa just dropped. Outbreaks have way fucking higher rates. Like, unreasonably not even close higher rates. Oh, this is the plate. I always thought that was the entrance to a cave. That's just the plate for this area, because it was the first, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Is this as fun as it looks? I don't know if you're being sarcastic right now or not. But either way, the answer is yes. Uh, I've ran myself low on Pokeballs right now, so I'm gathering the materials to make more. Left myself with 18 great balls. A fucking piece of shit, Stantler. Oh my god. I need to catch more Stantler. Not right now, I guess. I only got black tumblestone out of that. I didn't even get any iron. That's okay, all the irons in the second zone. But we're gonna find all the goods. Leopard berry? I didn't even want a leopard berry. How long have you been playing? Uh, a couple hours today, and then about nine hours the other day. The first night it came out, I played for nine hours straight. And then, to no fault of the game, I, I quit playing it for a couple days. I had some other things scheduled I had to take care of. And those are done now for the time being, so I'm back to this. Please give me the goods. Okay, so do those ones only give out black tumblestone? I thought the gray ones gave out iron. I guess they don't. Which is fine. We're just going to go to the Obsidian Zone. I have regular Tumble Stone for days, so... We are all set there. I would like to sneak up and catch some more Stantler, but it's whatever. I can also try to catch that Gyarados. Find the hardy grange you need to expand the shop in the second zone area called Golden Plains Wheatfields. Yeah, I found one before. I feel like I knew where they were, I just really didn't care about expanding the shop. But if, if the shop expanding the shop will let me buy great balls for like 600 a pop, I'll do it. Oh shit! Fucking Munchlax over there. There's two of them. Did they just spawn here? Is this normal?
Nice, first try. And second try. Let's go! Well, shit, just a couple of munch lacks. Hanging out. Does munch lacks evolve via happiness? I remember that right. Okay, I've got apricots for days. We're gonna go back to zone two. I wanna go look over the hill up here. That doesn't break, right? No, he just stretching. Is he asleep? He's sleeping. Good work. Full incense in the old game. Not sure about this one. I think I'm going the wrong way. I just thought it would be nice if I caught like two Stantler. Because I don't have very many Stantler caught and it would add to my my thingy. The Crobat's is he bigger than the average Crobat? I just assume Crobats just look like this. It's actually about to be night. I'm going to lose out on the Stantler stuff. Throw Pokemon at stacks of hay and then find the green. Oh, okay. I literally break open a thing for it. Okay. I can't believe that doesn't count as hitting it from behind. I don't know why they made that so tight. Oh, Stantlers. What the fuck? Well, how about that? He was just hanging out. So this is where I don't fully understand how speed works in this game. Maybe it's because I switched out first. I bet that's it, because I just switched out first. But, like, what is keeping me from... Like, Raichu should be at... Fuck. I should have thrown the ball. Whatever, I already have a Chimchar. I should have saved. Is it forming on top of me? The lightning struck me for a second. You guys see that? Um, I'm going to have to go make regular Pokeballs for this distortion zone. I, I kind of forgot if you were severely overleveled that uh, they just ran away in one second. Oh, I can make heavy balls. I can make a lot of heavy balls. What the fuck? Yeah, Chimchar kind of scared the shit out of me. Please tell me there are, okay. Like, please tell me there's a grass spot or two I can hide out in here. Like this zone's not gonna pop for a minute. You're a wiener.
Good news is, after this, I should be completely loaded up on the goods. Okay, I'm gonna waste all my Pokeballs before the distortion pop. God damn, Blue Itzels are a bitch. May come as a surprise to you guys, but I don't want to spend all my time catching cricket tots. Oh, that's Zubat. I was like, that doesn't sound good, but it's just Zubat. I figured that the switch itself doesn't take a turn. It's all based on speed. If you're turning, you switch into something that's still faster, you get to attack. But if you're just slower, the owner attacks. Uh, oh, no ship. I guess I always assumed it was like a combined thing, but that makes sense. Kind of funny, all the Pokemon are herbivores or some shit. Yeah, in the anime, they're always eating Poke pellets or some shit like that. Is anyone else looking for lost satchels because I want my stuff back? I haven't blacked out yet. Oh, goodbye, Zubat. I just watched Zubat die. Every hey, song, thank you for the prime. I don't really care about her staring. Oh my god. Linky cord! Oh, I found one! I just found a link cord! Well, shit, now I can save my merit points. We have an Alakazam. Come on, escalators. Sylvie? Sylvie, stay in the fucking ball. <laughs> fucking bitch. Give me this. Weavile. I did not want to battle a fucking Gengar. Oh my god, I thought I had the Great Ball out. My fault, OG. Teleport him to me. Come on, teleport him. I don't know why I threw it over his fucking head. Come on, Sylveon, stay in the ball! We got a Sylveon, let's go! Where'd Honor go? Oh. Am I- I'm throwing it over this Eevee's head. I know I'm featherballing. Been a good distortion zone. 
Nizzle. Onyx is kicking my ass. Regular Pokeball odds, let's go! Alright, well, I'm gonna call that one a dub. Sylveon, best evolution. I think my favorite is still Espeon, but Sylveon's a close second. I actually fuck with everything about Sylveon. It's just strong as shit for no reason. Uh, the typing, its moves are crazy powerful. Um, the shiny looks great. The regular version looks great. Like, I don't know, I'm just a big Sylveon fan. Probably your best zone yet. We did have a pretty good run right there. Professor! Oh, wait, no, not yet. I don't want to report my findings yet because... We could turn that 22 into a 23 with this fucking link cable! Leafeon hell underrated. I like Leafeon and Glaceon's designs a lot, but I just think the Pokemon themselves are bad. Because, like, if you're talking about... Let's go. If you're talking about, like, viable Pokemon, um, Sylveon's great. Vaporeon's great. Um, Jolteon can work. Espeon and Umbreon are both great. And then all the rest, like Flareon's bad. Flareon's really bad. Uh, I don't hear a lot about Glaceon or Leafeon. They're not good either. Did you learn any moves, Big Head? No, not really, but that's okay. That's okay, because he is now very strong. Big brain time, that is five head. Five head out and about. Alright, now we'll turn in. The number didn't go up to 23, I'm a little sad. But now I know how it works, so. We caught a Sylveon too, man, that's so cool. Casual 12,000. So we'll be halfway to, we haven't even got to go to the water yet. Like, we haven't even got to start catching Pokemon in the water yet. And we should be halfway to level six. The six star. Oh yeah, caught, caught too much, Lex. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got 510 points from that. If I just do that again, we're there. I'm 490 off from the next rank. And now that I have access to water, I can catch a bunch of water types. I am upset I missed the Chimchar. If we're going strictly off design, I don't know. I feel like I suddenly like all the Pokemon I didn't like before. Um, Flareon's pretty cool looking, just off design alone. Uh, Jolteon's okay. Leafeon and Glaceon both look pretty sick. They're just not good Pokemon, unfortunately. I really can't do a whole lot here. Craft another 15 of these. Let me see if those Apricorns are done over at the farm. To make the fields even bigger we don't have enough uh if you want to lend us one of the pokemon that is a water type move we'd be grateful i can do that but bring me a water type we can use take this thing it's a piece oh wait no that's the alpha <laughs> that's can i give it the alpha floatzel he told me i could come and swap him out whenever i want right can i just let the alpha floatzel be the one that they use for watering is that not the funniest shit ever Is that a waste? Is that a dumb idea? 
Or is that funny as shit? Do it? Let's go. I'm never gonna use this thing anyway. Oh, it lost the red eyes! You're lending me an alpha? I'm sure it could water the fields nice and fast. But will a mighty thing like this be happy taking orders from the likes of me? I guess we'll find out soon enough. More importantly, you're sure... I'm... Oh, that's so cool! He literally acknowledged that I lended him an alpha. I did not expect that. You're lending me an alpha? Yeah, I'm so glad he acknowledged it. This game hasn't really done anything like that up to this point. Where they go out of their way. Hell, I mean, fuck. They, they spent like 20 minutes trying to gaslight me. Into thinking that I found... Uh, that one girl with the Ursa Luna. When I didn't, I found her on my own. And then like four different people talked to me like, Oh yeah, you must have used Ursa Luna to sniff her out because of the sin of the potato mode. She's like, I never did that. I never, ever, ever did that. I just saw... I just witnessed with my eyes her standing over there. How do I get back there? Uh huh. Only three left in this area. Lend everyone alphas. I'm saying we'd be the strongest village ever if I just lended everybody alphas. We're done gathering the harvest. Seems our efforts are rewarded. Last, the bumper crop. Here, take these. 64! Ooh! Yeah, can you plant metal? Oh my god, a Nintendo 64! Quite the fucking harvest. Why haven't I walked in anybody's houses yet for no reason? What am I missing out on? Oh, this is why I haven't done this, because it doesn't matter and there's nothing in here. Never have to attack trees ever again. Yeah, now I just gotta break all the fucking, all the iron things. I'm just gonna break an infinite number of rocks. Talking gonna hit until that thing evolves again. Feather ball set. Yeah, why not? I'm low on feather balls. And I have fucking money. 30? Hell fucking yeah. Good shit, Ginter. You can buy crafting materials? Not from my shop. My shop's not upgraded yet. And some of these. And some of these. Oh, wait. Did I craft? I have 20. Yeah, I have 27. We're good. One of those mass outbreaks of a Pokemon I hate? Oh, you shouldn't have. Sell the gold nugget. I'm saving. I have a bunch of gold nuggets in Stardust. I'm just sitting on for a rainy day. The reason I don't sell them is because I heard you lose your items and maybe some money if you die. And I figure the less money I have on me, the better. So I just, it's like keeping them in a bank for right now, you know? I don't know if that's how it works, but either way, that's where I'm leaving them. Isn't there an area, like, literally right here? I thought there was a stone to break right here. Okay, so I don't... Oh, I do want these. Do I want... No, I don't want these. These actually do me no good. Oh, wait, no, that's it. No, I do want... Okay, Iron Chunk. Iron Chunk. The ghosts have taken over this place.
I got another water stone. Oh, is this the outbreak? No. The alpha. What the fuck is that? Ah! Oh, it's a little toxic croak thing. You're fucking shitting me. That thing saw me exactly one millisecond before the ball hit it in the mouth. The Hepatons. Where's the outbreak at? Go there. This way? No. It's up here. It's up on this ridge. <laughs> why do I why did I have a heavy block? Fucking kill me. I was looking for great balls and I remember I didn't fucking have any. Don't be like that. Later, Maxter. Are you fucking- Oh my god, I thought it was gonna have like exclamation point or like the dots above its head first. But it just skipped that step and went right to kicking my ass. What the fuck? They're all eagle eyes! Alright, I don't actually care. That Pokemon's dumb. I'm leaving. I'm not staying here wasting balls on a fucking Shittermon. They're in 500 different spots all over anyway. I don't care about the shiny. I generally don't know if I'm shiny hunting correctly. From what I understand, you go to those outbreaks, like the one I was just at. Hit yourself with some stealth spray, which is what I was too dumb to do. And then you just catch everything. As fast as you can, as much as you can. You just catch all of it. And then they respawn. But those outbreaks are it. Those outbreaks are where it happens. From what I understand. And if I cared more about that specific Pokemon, I'd go back in a heartbeat. But I, I fucking, I hate the skunk. Never been a fan. Okay. I also, I need to start throwing Pokemon at the hay. Hey, what are you doing on here? I'm gonna swarm with a Pokemon that mass outbreak was a different... Oh, are you fucking... I have to go back. I have to go back. The guy literally said, hey, one of those is a shiny dipshit. I just saw a sinister tweet. No, don't make me do this. Oh, I don't have any stealth spray. I never take any with me. Guy, she said she was going to Mixer. Mixer died years ago. Do I have anything I can use here? No, because I'm dumb. I'm a stupid bitch, that's why. I fucking underthrew it like a goddamn moron. Count when I hit him with the Pokeball? This is so fucking dumb. This is so fucking stupid. What do we put him out there in an area with no- What do we put the worst Pokemon in the fucking history of Pokemon out in an area with no fucking grass? And they all see you from 10 miles away no matter what. None of them were shiny either. That dude lied to me. I don't care. I need a place to farm a little iron. Is it so much to ask to be an iron farmer in today's day and age? 
I don't want that one because I don't want to. I guess I'll fight a Pokemon for it, whatever. Yeah, I don't know a Geo dude. Ow, it hit me. What the fuck is this? I don't care about you guys. I don't even care about the Geo dude. I could have just ran from that fight. My guess is that the guy always says that. Yeah, me too. It's just like a little tip that like, hey, there's shiny Pokemon over there. Or like more more likely to be shiny. Come on, get the fuck up here. Jump when I push the jump button. That would just be stellar. Okay. God, that was the worst outbreak in the history of outbreaks. Maybe ever. Where are all your iron shits? I just find the hay. I should really just find the, the, hack, the stacks of hay and then upgrade this shop. That's what I should be keeping an eye out for. Got it, because I've been hunting and I haven't seen an NPC. I mean, have you gone to that spot while an outbreak was happening in that spot? Okay. Looks like it didn't give me the rocks I needed from that. Dick. Okay, one more time. That, since this outbreak is apparently still happening. Is it? Yes. I caught one. And now they're all killing me. Where am I going? Did the thing just use fire blast at me? I'm gonna head for the satchel. What did they die to? The big tangle? Oh my god, he keeps turning, so I don't know, like, I'm trying to fix my direction. And he kept turning in the weirdest possible way. Where is... Oh, there it is. Oh, and a hay pile! Good, perfect, perfect. Caster fern. Okay, not what I needed. Like, even close. Caught an alpha leafy on? Nice. Ouch. Where are all the haystacks? Oh, is it over there? Do I have to cross that? Oh, it's over there. I see some glimmering. I don't think I've actually been over there. I don't think I've ever really been that way. I'm not sure how to get over there. Do I need Basculin for that? Are they going to force Basculegion on me for that? Kill the rest. I should have. Well, no, because that would have taken forever. If they're all aggroed on me at once, then they're all going to jump in on the fight at once. You can get over there from the first camp area. Gotcha. Oh, there's Hardy Greens. Okay. I don't need to get over there, but now I just want to on account of curiosity on that. She locked the Z! 
Bro, it's wait! A person, another real life human being. Oh, thank you. Oh, Wanda, I was on my way back. Oh, this is the other girl I was supposed to use Ursa Luna to sniff out. But I found her on my own. She gets lost easy. I do need Basket Leisure for that. Just carving it up out here. Oh shit! Why is there an Alpha Pachirisu out here? I don't have the Pokeballs for this. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, that's bad. Hit attacking twice is really bad. Nice crit, you fucking bozo. He'll die, but let's get the residual damage flowing. Hit him with the X scissor. going to die! Cleaver fainted. Okay. Uh, Raichu tanks like half of what Pachirisu wants to do, so I'm going to force it to crunch while I throw balls at it. He has a lot of health still. That's not good. I forgot that that happened. I forgot they got pissed when you caught him. Or tried to catch him. Baby Doll Eyes is fine. He can't T-wave me. Okay, he won't take damage anymore from that. Um, so now I'm going to Thunderbolt him. He should live. Perfect, perfect. Oh, that was a crit too. Nice. I can actually Agile style another Thunderbolt if I want to. Psych! I died in one hit. Rapidash is the only thing left that can actually kind of tank a hit from this thing. I just kind of have to throw balls at it and pray. Which Pikachu clone do you prefer out of Emolga or Pachirisu? Emolga. Emolga's a fucking dickbag. Emolga's just a flying piece of shit. Oh, this is not good. Baby doll eye. Please stay in the ball, you fucking rat. I miss having great balls, man. He's gonna one-shot everything! I'm getting lucky he's sparing me right now. Holy shit, Rapidash, you're so strong. But I guess he goes twice. I guess he just outspeeds a, a living, breathing horse by that much.
It always leaves with baby doll eyes, and then it likes the T-Wave after, so we're good on that front. Stay in the ball. I didn't even want the Alpha. I would have been fine catching a regular one, but the Alpha walked over to me and then started fighting me. This is like seven dragon dances. Alright, lucky T-Wave. Oh, man. I knew it. Oh, my God. I can I can feel that this thing is a piece of shit. I need to get its health just a little bit lower. If I could have got that one more T-Bolt off, I think I would have had it by now. Ah, damn it, man. All right, you've lived long enough. Whatever, give me the grit gravel, you fucking piece of shit. Yo, why is its tail spiky? You guys see that? Why'd that one have a spiky tail? Caught one anyway. Do they all have that? I don't know if they all had that. I guess I've never really seen it from the back. I never used a Pachirisu before. I don't even need to, I don't even have to look for satchels anymore. I just pick them up if they're nearby. I got the link cable I needed. I just need like one more hay bale. Cause I already had one, one of the grain things. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Mean to do that. That's how I fucking die. Didn't make it. Not one lone fucking hay bale hanging out of here. Huh? Dude, look in the fucking water where you live, you fuck! Out here trying to live my fucking life, and that thing just goes, You! From a distance. What the fuck did I get here? Oh, yeah, this. I don't think I've caught that many Bibberil. Ooh, Alpha Ghastly. I'm not fighting that fucker, but damn, Alpha Ghastly, you know? Is that Alpha Psyduck over there? <laughs> no, Alpha Badoo, even. Teddy Ursa? Yeah, it's the zone we're in, it's Teddy Ursa. This is what we came here for. 16 Wisps remaining in this area. Alpha Ursaring next to a regular Teddy Ursa is hilarious looking. Um, I'm pretty sure I need one more fucking hay bale is the problem. That's why I'm still out here.
one iron junk. I'm just taking hits. I'm just taking hits. Okay. Hey, Wisp. Hopefully, RCS meets the quota they're aiming for as they continue to improve games like this. Yeah, I kind of gave... If you want to go back to earlier in the stream, I kind of gave a, a big spiel on why even if this game meets the quota, it might not necessarily be good going forward, but... It's all going to depend on Game Freak. They had no incentive to make this game, but they did. They had... They will have no incentive to make this game better. If it sells well. So, they might? They might not. The camp. I need one more fucking hay, but one more bale of hay. Is all I ask. A singular. Where's the tang growth? I've been over there before. Please, uh... A chromy bale of hay. Actually... I can look. Nope, I need one more. I need one more hardy grain. I have one... In the shop. Not in the shop. You guys know what I mean. Wait, is that a hardy grain right there? Can I just pick this up off the ground? Hell yeah, brother! Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go upgrade our store. Hopefully they'll let me buy great balls. Uh, that's gonna be a whole lot cooler if I could have just finished my jump. It's fine. Um, apparently got tar- I apparently was about to get targeted by a wild Pokemon two seconds later, so they wouldn't let me. But, while I'm here... Did hear while Alakazam breaks the shit with his mind. When did Twitch start censoring? What do you mean? Caught an alpha togepi that's badass. Jump up the fucking rock, dude! Oh my god, this stupid fucking deer. Great fucking game, Game Freak. Uh, let me just, let me just go. Let me just go. But where could I have dropped it? You lend me a hand. I was on my way here from the Meyerlands camp when uh, this Alpha Hippowdon came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying. I can't find it anywhere. I've got to get it back. You find a charm lying in the swamp, bring it to me. Yeah, fam, I got you. Profanity? Don't remember that? I mean, what kind of profanity? I didn't censor you. You can type fuck in chat. They don't care. I don't know what you mean, I guess. Distortion in the distance? I don't know if I care about distortion here right now. But, I can make 33 Great Balls. We did actually collect a lot of iron chunks off that. Oh, I can make 28. I'm out of Tumble Stone. What do I have? Heavy Ball? Leaden Ball. An improvement to the original Heavy Ball design. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far. Okay, so this is better Heavy Ball. I'm gonna use this Black Tumble Stone, which I have a million of. Is the distortion zone over the mass outbreak of Sunk Tank? No, it's over here. Okay. I have to go around the lake to get over there. Directly behind me? I think I have to go around the lake to get over there. Because I can find a sick spot to jump. No, I'm pretty sure they're going to make me go around Lake Valor. We have to move quickly. There's no time to waste. Game fruck.
God, I really should have got... I don't know what I was thinking. I should have got Legion Basculin before coming out here. But it is what it is. Iron Chunks. I have a decent amount of Great Balls all said and done. How about stop for the Apricorns? I remember I don't have to do that anymore. Keep paying those guys 500 bucks in plant form. I'll be all good. Excuse me. Distortion zone! Take me. I was gonna get the last of my heavy balls out of here. Hang out on the outside so it can happen faster? Is that how distortion zones work? Are we less likely to pop if you're inside? These, these gold better sleeping. Heavy ball back shot. Assuming it kicked out at two, it did. Yo, that gold bat is spazzing! when you hear the rumbling. I see the tech and I respect it. It's just right now I'm doing this. Fuck are you? Get in the grass. <gasps> Moonstone? Porygons? A fucking gaggle of these guys? Fucking kill me. Another electrolyzer. Oh, he sees me, sought me out, and was still mad at me. A fucking alpha what? Did I catch the Porygon? Come on, teleport. I did catch the Porygon. Six, six, six. It's the only thing I've seen so far that I really just love the idea of catching him. She attacked me so fucking fast. I was about to walk over to Porygon and the game could sense it. Maybe I should have gotten closer and done the heavy ball, but... Umbreon! Fuck! Fuck, man, I wanted the Umbreon. Okay, drip loom, you fucking dickbag. All the other ones teleported, but drip loom literally followed me across the goddamn universe.
Hey, he's not attacking me, is he? I don't really give a shit about a puzzle. Come on. Where'd Umbi go? Oh, what the? This distortion zone's going a little weird. Hey, you still mad? Still mad. Where'd the Umbreon go? You're just spawning like 40 floats at a time now. Fuck. Oh well. We got a Porygon. Porygon's badass. Porygon is badass. Alright, while I'm over here, I'm gonna scan for the rocks. Like that one. Uh, no, Dal Swip. Not in this game. I get my ass kicked a lot in this game. I don't have to do that, but I will, because why not? I figured it out in disregard. Oh! Okay. Well, that could have gone worse, I guess. You know what? Rapidash could tune up on a bitch. Why not? Ooh, level 50. Oh, the Paris is getting involved. I hate that. Go, Rapidash. Mystical fire. What are you going to do? Stuns for me? Okay, we lowered his offense, and he was agile style. So that did jack shit. Paris, you're a bitch. It doesn't really matter. Mystic Fire him again. Whatever. How would a Nuzlocke work? A region catch? Yeah, you could Nuzlocke this. Okay, so it changed me from being poisoned to being paralyzed. I wasn't locked in anything. I'll show you the minimap though. I'll show you how Nuzlocke could work in this game. I just wanted to beat him for the EXP. Um, so if you look at the map here, it's broken up. So like, this is where you come in at, and then you're in the Golden Lowlands, and you cross the bridge, and you're in the Solacion Ruins. And there's no like definitive lines, like there are routes for Pokemon typically. But it's the same idea. You come down here, Gape Jaw Bog, Home Trials is this area, right? Uh, Sludge Mound, Ursa's Rising. These are all different zones within a region. So you could theoretically catch, I mean, what am I looking at? Like 20 ish Pokemon in this zone. That poor Paris. The Paris didn't have to stick his nose in. You know what the Paris was? The Paris is like when Krillin tries to help Goku in a fight, right? I'll help you too, Goku, and then Frieza just blows his ass up. Because what the fuck are you doing anywhere near me, right? That's what that was. I spy a rock. It's glimmering. One iron chunk, get fucked. How would encounters work? I would say if you throw a ball at it, it counts. 
If you either if you initiate the encounter either with a either with a Pokemon to start a battle or if you just throw a ball at the thing, I think either one of those would count personally. That feels fair to me. Yeah, the Paris did more to me than the fucking Parasect did. It's true. He even got back-to-back -back moves at one point. Oh, hey, let's uh, look for another Turtwig. There he is! The little scamp. How is that outbreak still happening, by the way? Got another Turtwig. This is where you find Turtwig, by the way, if you were looking for him. That's right, too. Thunder Wave, yes. What's the team looking? Oh. oh no. Oh no, I'm dead. Help me! Okay. Team looking like uh, Raichu, Samurott, Crobat, Alakazam, Rapidash, and Cleaver. Turwig just got caught because it passed out. Yeah, I don't have to fight it with Pokemon if I can just concuss it with a fucking lead with a lead heavy ball. One way to get rid of the outbreak is just to catch all of them. I would, but they're all fucking bozos. I do need to start keeping Stealth Spray on me. I can afford it now that I have the extra space. Fucking Alpha Yon Mega. I think I've about got all the iron that I can get that's like easily spottable. I like to hide them in stupid spots. I think we've about done what we're gonna do here. Ooh, two iron chunks. Big take. I do know the game gives you a shiny Conan Kai, yes. People will not stop telling me in Twitch chat that that happens. Despite my pleas. Jump up, though. Oh my god. All right. Some of this shit should just not be this hard. Better doodle have a good night, bud. Alright, so I'm not having Raichu fight a Graveler, is the thing. I forgot I had Raichu out. If I'd have with Samurai, it would have been fine. I didn't really catch any Pokemon in that distortion zone, did I? I knew there'd be something cool up here. Hey, is that a what is that called? Wish cash? What is it? I feather ball that. Feather ball's fucking zoom. Is that an alpha wish cash? That's an alpha. I'm literally hitting him. All 
All right, whatever. Good game. I think what's happening is the Feather Ball only goes a certain distance, or maybe any Pokeball only goes a certain distance before it, like, doesn't work anymore. So instead of it hitting him and trying to catch him, it just conks him on the noggin. Yeah, the Feather Ball was explicitly made for stuff like that. Well, technically it's meant for sniping out of the air. So maybe that's their way of countering it so you can't use it like the way that I was just doing. Because uh, if you're throwing it up, right, it's only going to be able to go up so far. And then it'll, it'll die and it'll turn back around and come down. But if you're throwing it at an angle like that to reach water Pokemon you shouldn't be reaching yet, then... I don't have space for a fucking T-Stone? Oh, come on. Grit Gravel. Who wants to use some Grit Gravel? Get Crobat speed up, shall we? Alright, we're, we're capped out. Let's just go. Let's just go. You caught 19 Pokemon. Tannerbore Pokemon and one report. Achieved. Nine grand. New observations and shit. Oh, we're good. I think we... Yeah, we level up. Nice. We got those quick. And now, I feel like I should be able to get to, to the next level relatively easy if I want to, because uh, we now have access to Water-type Pokemon. So maybe not, like, relatively easy, but, I mean, you know, there's a whole slew of Water Pokemon that I just couldn't really catch before that I can max out now. That'll be something. Compared to Dada, we're struggling right now. Well, if I'm allowed to buy Great Balls here in a minute, I'm going to go nuts. Oh, yeah, I found this woman for Zeke. Boy, I'm ever glad I asked you. You're just as good as everyone says you are. Wanda's still new to the security corps. Understand why they best. Better not worry too much. Keep an eye on her. Uh... Gone astray in the Mirelands. Three Stardust. Damn, he actually paid. That was one of the few side quests that felt worth it. Made progress. Seems you've earned yourself a star. Bing. Okay, so now I shouldn't have to worry about, like, I will. We'll keep catching Pokemon and stuff, but it's the first time in the game where I feel like I won't have to worry about over-leveling for a while now. Because we, we didn't go from 50 to 60. That went from 50 to 65. So I won't have to worry about going up another level for a minute. Badass. I'm ahead of the curve. And new moves, yeah. We're gonna look over new moves after I take care of some stuff. Let me... First talk to the shop owner. Give you the stuff I got. Oh, I have to give that to Tao. Fuck, where was Tao at? Ah, shit. Is he here or was he off... Fucking off somewhere? Basement? Oh, yeah, he's downstairs. Good call, good call. What up, Zal? What up, you old fart? Not you, Zal, Tao. You got the hearty greens. Would you let me have just three stalks? Three stalks of vodka. Look, look, look. Uh, 
Report back to Choi with your progress. Later, Devin Rose. Have a good night, bud. I went live. Oh shit! When did we? When did we stream for seven hours? When did that happen? I just looked up and noticed we've been live for almost seven hours. Back alley, Mr. Mime. Mime's taking up residence in Jube life, but the eerie movements are making some of the villagers nervous. Battling with Pachirisu. I happen to have a couple Pachirisu. Do I am already? Yeah, I kind of have to cut soon. Kind of have to cut soon. <clears throat> New goods in stock. You won't listen to a word I say. Would you try and persuade him for me if you bring three pot pods? Oh, I have pot pods. I don't think I have three. And I can't buy great balls. I can buy fucking feather balls and heavy balls. Oh, shit. Let me look. I know I found a pot pot or two, but I don't think I found three of them. Did it say how many he, he needed? Store, store, store. I do have three sick. El Muy Perfecto. Oh, perfect! Did he actually need three? I wait to get my hands on this game. Yeah, you'll you'll enjoy it. I'm sure. I'm having a good time, despite all the despite all the shitting I do on this game. Though I feel like I don't think I overshit on this game. But I think me saying what I say about this game when I say it and how I say it feels stark to the Pokemon community. Because the Pokemon community often feels like it has two different kinds of people who pay attention to the Pokemon community. People who are going to hate it no matter what and people who are going to love it no matter what. So I feel like when you see somebody like me playing this game and enjoying it, but then I say shit like, hey, that's fucked up and that's weird and shouldn't be like that. I think it's just like stark and unexpected. And it comes off as, as too hard, but... I'll say it again, I do like this game. The two streams I've done of it, the first one I played for nine hours, and then the second one we've been playing for like four or five hours today already, and the time is flying by. I'm going to stop, not because I want to in a little bit, but because I have to. So i got to go take care of some stuff. You've got pop pods? Would you let me have three? Yep. Cool new stuff. Let me buy great balls. More new wares. Great balls of fire. Let's buy 38. And then let's go make a bunch more. Let's go make like 30 more. Graphically, the game is... Tr oh, wait. Why did I run this way? Graphically, the game is trash. Gameplay-wise, it's 7 out of 8. Yeah, it's just... It's it's definitely more than just the graphics. I mean, the graphics are completely unacceptable and god awful, but it's it's more than the graphics that I have problems with. But I've said it a few times this stream. I've never felt more a wing ball an improvement on the feather ball. Make a few of these. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of the stones. I'm out of the common stones. Oh shit. That ain't happened to me in years.
But yeah, but that's the thing is like even with the gameplay being being a seven out of ten, which I kind of agree with the more I think about it. Um, I've never been in a point where I've been able to get this immersed in a Pokemon game before, right? And I don't mean just in the sense that like I'm playing it for hours and hours on ends without stopping. I also mean that uh, I also mean in the sense that like. I also mean in the sense that I feel I've never felt this much like the trainer when playing a game, you know, in a really good way. I can get those tumble stones. I think I've earned some like cool. I didn't even have a chance to use the orange berries you got me. They made a lovely snack. Oh, this is the Mr. Mime guy. Okay. Oh, there's the mime. Find a way to approach Mr. Mime and see what he's up to. Oh, he put up a wall. Little rascal. And we can finally get ice cream. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at moves before I leave the town. Ran off that way. It wouldn't run unless I had something to hide. Now we really gotta find out what he's up to. Ace the fleeing Mr. Mime. Most of my 15 hours making my. I felt like I got my team together really quick. There is a. Oh, the skunk tank outbreak is still happening, dude. Like, fucking die already. Back alley mime. Oh, I ran the right way anyway. Firestone was a bitch to get. It took me forever to get the Thunderstone. And then I was saving up points to get the link cable, and I got them both within like 10 minutes of each other. Felt like. Trying to cheese this. Speed run strat! It's a maze. It's not just a wall, he put up a maze. I wonder if I was supposed to get to him from the right side. Oh, wait, no, now I'm just running. Wait, no, now I just run up to him. That was weird. He ran off that way. Got a roundabout way of trying to get close to Pokemon. Are you secretly scared of them or something? There's invisible walls. You're joking, that Mr. Mimes uses some kind of mysterious power. Further research. What's the dog doing? <laughs> Mime's over there. Let's see if he's making walls. I hope I made it. I don't know what I did. The 
Your mime looks like something's got you in a panic. You know this mime? Yeah, he helps me guard the gates. Stands out in front and does that eerie dance. Wild Pokemon can't get in. It's like there's some kind of wall. Docile helps me with my job, so I let it do as he pleases. Who would have thought? Thought I'd make you all that trouble. It brought me some peace of mind if nothing else. Got invisible walls cropping up here and there. Folks better keep an eye out. Or maybe not an eye. He's just goofing off. What the hell are ox guards? An item that sharply boosts the defensive stats of a Pokemon during battle. These effects disappear if the Pokemon leaves the battle. Oh, okay, cool. I have no use for these, but cool. Not right now, at least. Oh yeah, moves! I was like, what the hell else were we doing? We were gonna look at Pokemon's moves. Did y'all learn any good fucking moves? Hydro Pump! Oh shit, Water Pulse is dead. Water Pulse is dead. 60 power, never misses. How about 100 power, 85 accuracy? It's no Ice Beam. But damn. Alright, nothing new on Crobat, it looks like. Psychic! Oh, he's cracked! We just went from a 60... Excuse me, a 50 power move to an 80 power stab move. With a chance to lower special defense. You can change moves on the fly? Yes. Sometimes Pokemon have, have the ability... So, like, you change moves and evolve. Like, let's just say, you know how in old Pokemon games you hit level 13, right? Uh, your Pokemon might learn a new move. And you have to teach it to them right then and there and forget an old one forever. And that's how it works, right? Or you miss learning on the move and you never get to learn it. But it's your choice. And then at level 14, they evolve. No matter what, they evolve unless you hold the B button. In this game, if they hit level 13, it'll tell you Alakazam got an idea for a new move. And you could swap them out on the fly if you want to. And then when they hit level 14, when they should evolve, they don't evolve yet. You actually hover them and hit the evolve button. And that makes them evolve. Uh, and then if you put a move on and you don't like it, you can just swap it back. It's no biggie. No biggie. Alright, same moves for Rapidash. That's fine. I think Cleaver is also probably more or less done, which is okay. At least for now, but... I like Cleaver's moveset. And no Thunder for Raichu yet. Mine? These games should be the mainline games going forward. Honestly, they're not going to do it. They never would, but, like, throw the old games away. They ran their course. They ran their course, and Game Freak ran them into the ground. What was my next quest? Go to Ginkgo Landing to call... Oh, yeah, let's get Basket Legion. Actually, okay, I want to do that, but there are a couple of side quests around back here. Let me go have a look at these first. This you, miss. Plant them after his three leaves and taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. That's right. But in here. No, it's back there. No, that's the other one. But in here. Hello, old timer. Why, if it isn't one of those youngins from the Survey Corps, good thing you dropped by and need some help making friends with this Eevee. Think you can lend a hand. Tanala, my granddaughter, brought the little guy home with her the other day and wants us to be on good terms. <laughs> it looks like it's doing fine. After thinking long and hard, I decided the best way to win Eevee over is the old-fashioned way. By beating it. In games. Like who can punch the hardest. I'll be whipping up a special snack for my hometown. Some of the ingredients don't grow here in Hisui. I found a few local berries and things that make good enough substitutes. 
Free stocks of- oh, fuck off. Don't count on me for that shit. I'm not coming back. That Eevee's gonna hate you. Do you enjoy the side quest? Honestly, no. So, I explained this earlier in the stream, so I'm not gonna get too hung up on it here, but I'll just kind of briefly reiterate what I said about it before. Side quests in this game are almost the worst. In the sense that when you win a side quest, you get like a couple revives. Or I just got two X defense for the last one I did. Or sometimes they'll give you... Oh yeah. I was like, oh my god, but that's the alpha float till I caught. Um, you know, or sometimes they'll give you like potions and just they'll give you random trinkets and shit like that. So, and they're not fun. They're almost never fun. So normally, I'd be able to look at that and go, okay, great. I just don't have to do the side quest. I'll catch Pokemon when I want to. I'll battle the wild Pokemon I want to. And then I'll, I'll just do the mainline quest, and that's fine. The part that makes it so shitty is that some of the side quests are really important. Some of the side quests give you shit like a shiny Ponyta, or the only easy way in the game to get a Chimchar, right? So you can't just ignore all the side quests because some of them might have a really bitch and reward you otherwise wouldn't be able to get. But on the other hand, mo like 90% of them suck, and what you get doesn't really matter. Like, the most hype things I got item-wise was the two quests ago, somebody gave me three Stardust, all in one go. Pokemon I'm talking about, it was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you can... An elegant tail. So I'm accepting a lot of these quests, and then if they seem reasonable or easy, or if I'm in the area, like, I'll pick them up for right now. I might come back and do every side quest, though I, I don't want to. But, I mean, I take him when I see him, just because why not, you know? They're not all bad, it's just... Most of them are bad. And the reward isn't worth it. Is I said this earlier, I think if they would have made the game a little bit harder... Like, more battles. For the love of God, give me more battles with multiple Pokemon at a time. Like, not against three Pokemon at once, but I mean, like, give me a trainer that... Has, like, a full team or something, you know? Because I have a full team, right? Um... The cat with a really curly tear, no basket legion. Oh, okay, I have a glint. Alright, I have it already. I'll go back and talk to him. Um, but if they made the game harder, but then on the flip side, side quest rewarded you with experience, the same way side quests reward you with experience in every other game ever made, um, I think that would be a better trade-off. Because then at least, like, they can give me the crappy items on the side and, like, sure, that's a nice bonus. But if I get the experience for it, then it acts the way most RPGs do. And that even if the side quest wasn't that great, the experience you gain from it to help you, like, over-level in a way is, is a reward in itself. Like, obviously, you want good side quests. Obviously, in an ideal world, you get side quests that have interesting stories and introduce you to new characters and maybe give you the possibility of getting, like, a really cool side thing. Like, in Fallout games, there's some side quests that give you cool guns and shit like that, which some of them do with the unique Pokemon, like the Chimchar one and the Shiny Ponyta and all that. But, uh... You know, if the, if the side quests are more interesting and I care about the characters, it's hard to ask for in a Pokemon game. But at least if, if they also gave experience on top of the shitty trinkets, I'd feel like I was earning something out of it to help me over-level. Right, or to help me level up. Alright, where did I catch... I've been back here, right? Did I not catch one of the fucking cats? How many pastures do I have? Guys, I think I tried to catch the cats, and every single one of them kicked out. There's a palm. I passed it. It's in pasture six. Oh, I caught exactly one. Good eye. Because I could have sworn I threw balls at like nine of them. Simply remarkable. It scratched me. Fairy tale. Great gravel. Who wants some of the grit gravel? Max out the attack stat. I thought we're going on that special attack stat. Oh, 
They also went really far out of the way to not make anything in the way of cutscenes for like side quests. And you know what I mean? Would it have been, and I, I get they're already behind obviously because you can tell by how bad the graphics are and shit, but would it have been so much for us to get an actual cutscene where we see the thing scratch him? Right? The cat in that last one. And they do that with everything in this, but like I said, it is what it is. I have money. We're going to upgrade the satchel. I'm going to upgrade our satchel. Actually, let me pull out my goods and sell the goods. How much can we realistically upgrade the satchel? Two star pieces is 10 grand. 22 stardust. Holy shit. And four nuggets. Uh, let's... Let's sell the four nuggets. You can probably max it out. 22 star pieces is crazy. Quick 40k, no biggie. So basically, I'm going to spend all that 40k right now just doing four more. This guy is so good at figuring out how to pack, like, telling me how to pack shit into his satchel. Do you think it would have made any more sense if they would have just slowly given you a slightly bigger backpack as time went on? Like, like they would have done a little bit of this and then a little bit of, like, you know, you start off with a small, like, man purse. Little fanny pack. And then you just kind of slowly get a backpack over time. Alright, this will be the last one we learn. The richest person in the village? No, the richest person in the village is fucking this guy. This dude is the Tom Nook of this game. He just took essentially four gold nuggets worth of money off me to teach me how to put, put things into a pack. And not like, like the smoke in the pack either, like just stacking it inside my tiny ass. And look at the satchel! It, this, this, look at my back! He's taught me, like, 20 times how to rearrange things inside this tiny little pack. There cannot be that many techniques. But, man, we got space now. Look at us. Look at us. Look at that. Where are we at? 15 hours and 2 minutes. Fifteen hours and two minutes on this one. And I am really excited to play more. Uh maybe tomorrow? I don't think I'm doing anything tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm scrolling through my following feed right now, and everybody who is playing Arceus is way further than me. Except Nos. What's not? Where, how far is Nos at? I think Nos is still in the beginning. Yeah, actually, I know he is. Okay, I'm going to host Nos. Please do not spoil Nos on anything. Help him if he asks for help. Other than that, kind of keep the same rule in here. Don't backseat him, nothing like that. But I'm going to drop the raid on Nos. He's just starting the game off. So he might need some help, but uh, yeah, he's the only one on my following list playing this game who isn't further than me. So y'all be easy. Y'all be easy. I'll be back uh, if I can. I'll be back tomorrow playing this game because I, I want to dump a bunch of hours in this and I, I just haven't got to yet. Thunderstone out. Peace late. Catch y'all next time. Have a good night, everybody. Pursue my practice. Do 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 do.